Hey Cleveland, welcome to our last Good News in Sports Team Edition. I'm one of your co-hosts, Rachel Gill. And I'm your other co-host, Meredith Painter. We hope you enjoyed getting to know each of our incredible staff members throughout this series. And had some great laughs along the way. We are so appreciative for each and every one of you who have followed along to get to know about who we are, what we do, and our team's love for Cleveland. But before we can officially wrap up the series, we have one very important team member we'd like to introduce, David Gilbert. David is the president and CEO for Greater Cleveland Sports Commission and Destination Cleveland. He refounded the Sports Commission in 2000, assumed his role with Destination Cleveland in 2011, and also served as the president and CEO of the 2016 Cleveland Host Committee for the Republican National Convention. In his role with GCSC, he leads our team in its mission to measurably improve the economy in Northeast Ohio through attracting, creating, managing, and enhancing sporting and competitive events. David serves on the board of the International Children's Games, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and numerous other local organizations. He was named by Crane's Cleveland Business as one of Cleveland's 30 influencers of the past 30 years. Ernst & Young, 2016 Entrepreneur of the Year, and received the SME Cleveland Business Executive of the Year Award. With a degree in marketing from The Ohio State University and an MBA from Cleveland State University, David currently resides in Moreland Hills with his wife, Faith. They have two children and two adorable pets. Please help us welcome our fearless leader, David Gilbert. David, if you're ready, let's jump right in with questions. Let's go, Mayor. Awesome. Well, David, you've been with the Sports Commission since its inception in 2000, and you've seen our city change and grow so much over the past 20 years. What are your favorite characteristics of Cleveland, and how do you see it growing even more in the next five to 10 years? You know, I think what I love most are the people. Um, it's just, you know, people here are so real and very resilient and not so full of themselves. Um, and I just love that. And I think, I think I've seen so much change over the last probably maybe 10 years of kind of going from where so many people were woe is us to, to a lot more people just really being proud of the fact that they're from Cleveland. And, and I think that's going to keep going. I think, um, you know, I think as things change and more people move here and more younger people move here, they see what a great place it is. And people are starting to move back. You talk to so many people who, even, even former Clevelanders who, you know, who live elsewhere, they're so loyal to this city. And even if they're living somewhere else, they, their heart is still here. And I think that's pretty awesome. So David, I think it's no secret to our viewers by now that uh, here at the Sports Commission, we're big dog people. <laughs> so, um, yeah. and we know that you added a special four-legged friend to your family in the past year. So can you tell our viewers a little bit about the story about how you adopted did Millie and can we maybe meet her? We uh, got Millie back uh, actually on Valentine's Day. We sadly had to put, put our longtime dog uh, uh, down uh, the end of last year. And we really weren't, we knew we wanted another dog at some point. We love rescues. And uh, my wife saw a Facebook post, a friend of a friend who was in Cuba for work, found this stray dog that she fell in love with decided to bring her back to Cleveland, even though she knew she couldn't keep her because she already had another dog. And, and we thought, why not? And she has been um, so much fun, so full of energy. She is so funny looking, but adorable. And, um, and again, because we're all dog lovers on our team, you know, we know how much they quickly become part of our hearts, part of our family. And uh, yeah, she's a, she's a great little girl. Here's our cutie. Here's our little Cuban girl. Say hi. Can we kiss? Can we kiss? Mm. Here, she's a good girl. She's a sweetie. She's just looking out the window for squirrels. David, we know that you're an avid runner and cyclist. Can you share some of your favorite memories or epic athletic achievements? You know, it's achievements for me are certainly not about winning. It's uh, uh, they're making it through. And yeah, I've been a, a distance athlete uh, uh, really most of my whole life. And I've run 30 marathons or ultra marathons and I've gotten very into cycling. Um, um, I think for me, I, I, what I've loved about the running, especially like the last 15 years, is really, really um, making it part of an adventure. I've, loved, I've, I've done almost all trail running and just had some incredible races in, in, in different parts of the US and in, in some really out of the way spots. Um, did a, a Big Sur trail marathon and um, one, one through the, the biggest redwood forest 
uh, in the country um, and, and really got into cycling last five or six because my brother and nephew and I have done a big epic bike ride, a week long ride somewhere in the country. We rode the whole Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, last year we did an amazing ride uh, through Southwest Colorado. Usually we'll ride anywhere from five to seven days and anywhere from, you know, depending on the ride, like 350 to 500 miles. We've tended to like places with a lot of epic mountain climbs, um, but um, you know, it, it just adds more of a challenge, but you also get some amazing beauty. GCSE is now over 20 years strong with hosted events, um, and, we sure that, and we're sure that you have quite a few memories from over the years. So do you have a favorite um, event that the Sports Commission has hosted, or if not, maybe a few that you can share? You know, there's probably two that come to mind in, in the International Children's Games being the first one. We hosted way back in 04. It was really our first big event. We had um, uh, uh, over 2,000 kids from 60 countries. and. We, you know, we had a, the organization back then had four or five staff people and we just, we figured it out. We had to raise a ton of money. We brought extra people on and the way the community responded to these kids from all over the world being here, there were so many amazing stories of how people greeted all these people from around the world. And I think it really gave us a, a sense of accomplishment that there was nothing we couldn't do. Probably in some similar way was the National Senior Games that we hosted back in, in 2013. Um, we had, we had 11,000 athletes, more athletes than the Summer Olympics uh, uh, um, that took place less than a year later. One really cool thing, it was the night after our opening ceremony. And I remember some of us were sitting outside on East 4th Street um, uh, uh, on a deck. And we started hearing this applause and the applause started getting louder as it got to our end of the street. And when we looked, it was just a number of a, a team. I don't remember what it was a, a women's, I think volleyball team, probably women in their 60s or 70s, were just walking down the street, all wearing their medals. And everybody on the street was applauding for them as they walked by. And it was the most heartening thing to see how Clevelanders just, just absolutely took to these people that were here, appreciated their being here, loved the fact that they were here, and and um and hopefully we'll have a lot more of those to come. But in both cases, it was just so neat to see how, how our community welcomed these people from thousands of people from all over the country, all over the world. So David, 2020 has been a very strange year. Um, what's the weirdest thing that you've ordered off Amazon during quarantine? You know, I don't know if we've, we've ordered a whole lot that's weird, um, but, but, um, man, the volume of, of Amazon, uh, coming to our door is pretty crazy. It's, uh, um, you know, we, we, we really need to invite some of these people in cause they're starting to feel like family. They're, they're at our house so often. Pizza is one of your favorite meals, even so much so that you built an outdoor pizza oven in your house. So can you tell us some of your favorite combos that you've been making up lately? Yes, I love I Could Eat Pizza every meal. And we are, we actually got the pizza oven, believe it or not, as a gift. But we could, you know, we, we actually have made, we've learned how to make great dessert pizza. So um, our kids tried it first and we put on like Nutella and peanut butter and marshmallows and anything else you can think of. It's gotta have chocolate chips, gotta have pretzels. Um, but you know, I just thought now we probably should do a breakfast pizza too. Never in my life had even thought about owning something like that. Now it's probably my favorite part of our house. Well, David, thank you so much for joining us on this Good News and Sports Team Edition. I know our viewers always appreciate seeing your face. Well, uh, you guys have done a great job of putting these together and having people, you know, really get to know how wonderful uh, all of our all of our team members are. And and uh, thank you guys for doing it. Well, Cleveland, that's a wrap on Good News and Sports Team Edition. We can't thank our Northeast Ohio community enough for the overwhelming amount of support we've received on the series. It has been something that has kept us all going during this difficult time and made us look forward to the future. And we know there's a lot of unknowns when it comes to live events, but we remain hopeful that live sporting and competitive events will be able to return to our city in 2021. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and we hope to see you live in person very soon, Cleveland. She'll, she loves, like, she'll come up and cuddle on the couch next to us, but doesn't, definitely not a lap dog. Very she is, she is very fat. We don't know what she is. Yeah, she looks, she looks like a baby deer, or maybe a goat. She's got these ears that, that oh. stick out to the side, and she is so fixated on chasing 
squirrels and, 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 and any little thing that moves. She was, she's definitely some kind of little hunter. Um, and I would say we, we got an electric fence, which we never had. Greatest purchase. If we could have ordered it on Amazon, we probably would have. <laughs>